Hi everybody, happy Sunday. Um, so I am getting a kind of a late start in the morning chores here. It's, we are going to feed the chickens. Um, and as you can see, I have created this path yesterday. And um, in the mornings we usually feed the chickens weeds, but as you can see, with the drought, there's not a whole lot of weeds growing around here. Um, so unfortunately the chickens, I mean we feed them other things like grains and stuff too, but uh, chickens have these little, these little weeds right here. Um, so that's kind of a nice thing about making this path is it makes the weeds stick out so you can um, get them to the chickens. And so I have my trowel, and I'm going to dig out all these weeds and give them to the chickens with some grain, and it'll be awesome. Okay, so I had to gather some weeds, but I'm gonna take a break and watch this debacle. Woo! Good job, Susanna. You did it! This is our future compost. Um, plant receptacle. This wheelless wheelbarrow that we just pushed down the hill and it was really fun. So I gotta go continue uh, climbing up these hills and scavenging for weeds because you gotta fill up about, I don't know, probably three or four of these buckets in order to sustain ten chickens and two roosters and a turkey. Okay, so these are our starters that I filmed a couple days ago. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight now. Lovely. Um, you just missed it because I couldn't film it because I was up there uh, turning on the water, but we just water them. Actually, no, they're nine now because there's that one down there. Um, so, again, hope it turns out well. And now we are going to work on a chicken crap project. This is the chicken, the lovely, lovely chicken manure. We're going to start introducing to the beds and it will be awesome. All right, so there's a couple steps in making chicken compost. So step one is opening this gate and weeding out or shoveling out all of the poop. As you can see here, there's a lot of it and you just shovel out shovels, shovels, and poop, and put it in this wheelbarrow, and then, can you explain the whole nitrogen thing? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, chicken manure is really hot because it's incredibly high in nitrogen, so you have to cook it down before you put it anywhere close to vegetables or plants because it will burn them. It gets so hot. So what we do, we actually have two different styles of chicken manure composting. This one we used wood chips um, that we collected from the forest. You can't really see them, I just mixed it all in. And this yes. one we used char, I think it was an oak char. And uh, that's been cooking for about a month now. Maybe yes. a little more. So yeah, this one we just started today. Obviously it's really light, but it's going to get incredibly dark and rich. And once it dries out, it'll be almost a powder and it's fabulous to grow with. Yeah. So it takes at least a couple months to get going, but it's fucking gold. Black gold. Black gold indeed. So it's yeah, beautiful. That's what I'm doing. Let's see, some water is going to be cooking. It's going to be glorious. Oops. So beautiful. Okay. So, what we did is we dug a trench in the middle of these beds and out of the compost in the middle so that way. The compost provides a nutrient, plethora of nutrients foundation. for the, for what? Foundation. But yes. Uh, nutrient foundation for the roots. And it's that simple. That's how you, uh, that's one way to introduce compost into a bed. And now we are covering the trench back up. This is mixing the compost. You hack at the edge, comb it over, get this at an angle, and you should mix that all, all that in two. So you're combing it over to this side, and once you think you got a good mix, you shove it back in. 
And it's so super fluffy. And the color, if you compare this to this, it's just colors a lot better, a lot richer. And it's gonna make some for some happy plants. Okay, so this is what Marissa just finished doing. I made these steps um, probably 15, 17 years ago and have not done much maintenance on them, certainly not in the last five years. So uh, Marissa just uh, dug them out, cleaned them out, uh, defined them again. And uh, she's kind of cleaned up over there. It's just like I was fucking needing that so bad. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're doing a great job. Yeah, so uh, when you get up there, when you get done there, come up here. On a, I want all of us to go for a little walk. Okay. Okay.